A lot of work goes into maintaining the beautiful green turf we watch our favorite sports being played on. Good sports turf must not only be pretty to look at, but must also be safe to run on and rugged enough to withstand heavy foot traffic. Mississippi State University has an undergraduate turf grass program and extension specialists who dedicate their careers to researching and producing the best grasses for sports turf, home lawns, and roadsides. This story first aired on Farm Week last fall. When you visit a stadium or sports field to watch your favorite teams play, probably the last thing you think about is the grass they play on. But turf quality is one of the most important factors to ensure everyone's safety and also keep the facility looking presentable. Mississippi State University Extension Service turf grass specialist Dr. Jay McCurdy says the turf business plays a large role in Mississippi's industry. Mississippi has about two and a half million acres of turf. About two million acres of that is roadside, so it's not really fine turf. I deal mainly with the other half million or 500,000 acres of turf. Uh, a majority of that is home lawns. Some of that is also sports fields, recreation fields, parks and rec. Uh, and also includes high maintenance facilities. A lot of folks don't know that a majority of the turf grown in the state of Mississippi for sod is actually produced by family owned farms. There's about 65 farms spread out uh, around the state of Mississippi. It's a locally grown product, as locally grown as you can get. Dr. McCurdy says Davis Wade Stadium is sodded with Tifway 419 Bermuda grass, a warm season grass commonly found in the southeastern United States. Chris Hussey, manager of Hussey Sod Farm in Tupelo, explains why Bermuda varieties are chosen for athletic fields, golf courses, and parks and rec. Bermuda grass is a rugged grass. It, it can withstand lots of traffic, and even if you do have traffic damage, if you stay off of it, you can, it'll recover and, and grow back in a lot quicker. Hussey says Bermuda is a warm season grass, so it phases out in the fall. Therefore, MSU Sports Turf Superintendent Brandon Hardin says it's important to add in ryegrass, which grows during fall and winter. It's definitely year round nowadays. You're not going to grow Bermuda grass into November very long anyway and keep it looking the way we want it to look. So we add in the ryegrass. This ryegrass blend is actually an 80-20 blend of perennial rye and chewing red fescue. We have to do it, as you can see, I'm in the shade. Uh, it's hard to grow Bermuda grass or any grass in the shade and this jumbotron shades out pretty much all of this south end zone. Hardin says the material beneath the grass is mostly sand, which creates a safe, well-drained, level surface that can still be played on in the rain. And after a game, immediately recuperating the field is key. These fields are built to take that abuse, take that rain, move that water, and still keep a good, safe, soft but firm playing surface that has very good footing. As you saw in the Auburn game, it didn't tear up, it didn't chunk out, it held and did what it was supposed to do. We use 419 Bermuda grass because it recuperates at a pretty high rate. And it might not be the fastest, but it does what we need it to here. Um, we push it from the time that game's over with. We mow it, clean it up, get as much of the, the debris and everything off the field that we can, of course trash and everything too. Then we will come back down with some more ryegrass seed, very light just to help fill in the divots. Uh, little more ryegrass and then fertilize and we will pound it with water to help try to get this recuperation back you know as fast as we can from week to week. By now you're probably wondering if there's a way to save some money by just planting grass instead of purchasing sod. Chris Hussey says that's more complicated than it seems. One of the main misconceptions is folks don't realize that most of the grasses we have are vegetative hybrids and you have to have sprigs or plugs. It's not a quick and easy process to grow in from sprigs. If you do decide to plant that it's almost like taking care of a, a new child at the house. You know you have to water it, nurture it, and take care of it to ever get it to the point to where if you put the money in on the front end you can instantly have a have a lawn that, that you desire. Hussey emphasizes that even sod requires some regular maintenance. In the spring, he plants the grass from sprigs or plugs, which are basically small patches of grass with roots established. Depending on the variety, it can take three months to a year before it's harvested for sod. Hussey has a roll cutting machine that cuts the sod and rolls it up 
so it can be unrolled onto large fields. Additionally, Dr. Jay McCurdy says research is continuously underway to develop new grass varieties and management practices. Our turf program has a dedicated turf grass breeder. His name is Mr. Wayne Philly. Uh, Wayne has developed a number of different cultivars, including the Bermuda grass cultivar that is on the Rose Bowl every year. Uh, that is actually Mississippi Choice, commonly called Bullseye Bermuda grass. We've also got a number of different grasses which are under contract with uh, folks like Sod Solution and Turf Grass Group, and they're actually developing those for commercial turf use. Uh, a number of those are uh, dwarf Bermuda grasses for putting greens and for use on golf courses. We're also developing things like St. Augustine grass for shade tolerance and for cold tolerance. Dr. McCurdy says you're unlikely to get your own yard looking like a sports field, but you can maximize lawn quality with some simple tips. Some tips are to get your soil tested regularly, to look at adjusting pH of the soil with lime or with sulfur, it depends what the pH is. Applying to fertilizer recommendations, which can be found at msucares.com uh, in our publication, which is Establish and Manage Your Home Lawn. Uh, is a great place to start. Additionally, turf grass and landscape professionals or anyone interested in the turf industry is invited to join the Mississippi Turf Grass Association. Brandon Hardin says the industry offers fulfilling opportunities to those interested in running a high quality lawn care business, becoming a sports turf professional or specialist. The undergraduate turf grass program at MSU offers the hands-on experience and education students need for building lucrative careers. It's one of the best, I dare say, in the South, but in the entire country. Um, we might not have the numbers everybody else does, but if you look around just the Southeast at the amount of superintendents, right now, just off the top of my head, I can think of three superintendents in the SEC for sports turf. That, that speaks volumes for, for our program here. As MSU celebrates its 50th year of offering the turf grass program, the future looks bright for developing new ways to meet the needs of consumers in the industry. From Mississippi State University, I'm Amy Taylor reporting. You can watch this feature story again on the turf grass program at Mississippi State on our Farm Reef website, Facebook page, or YouTube. We'll have the contact information for the golf and sports turf management program as well as how to get in touch with uh, Jay McCurdy if you need some help with your turf grass. And we're also available at twitter.com slash farmweek. Now, Amy, I, the researchers told me one time they go out and look for Bermuda grasses in the wild. Well, one of the places they like to look country cemeteries because <laughs> you know they're not taken well care of and if a grass can yeah. do well there then you know they feel like they can bring it back to campus and maybe turn it into a grass that could be on a turf field one day so uh -huh. yeah so believe it or not some of the mm -hmm. grasses that Mississippi State has developed were originally found in cemeteries. All so. the more reason to go see your grandmother. And the fact that three SEC schools have MSU grads in charge of their turf grass that just shows that we do have some expertise. Well, we